is Hang here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, restrictions caused by malware. And um, so uh, you may have gotten infected with malware recently and you have some uh, restrictions and it may be preventing you from accessing the internet or it may be blocking you from using your browser or you may have redirection problems or you may have uh, problems with the operating system itself after you've been infected with malware and you may be uh, finding that some services within Windows is not working or you may have problems with uh, viewing certain areas of the computer so uh, in this video I'm going to show you some methods and uh, resolving issues when it comes to uh, uh, restrictions caused by malware now we are going to be doing some manual methods first and then we're going to use a some software after that will help us um, uh, resolve those issues so uh, first we're going to go over uh, how to uh, get onto the internet and uh, for a lot of people sometimes when you get infected by uh, malware you will have a problem where you can't access the internet or you might have a proxy server set up now there's some I'm going to show you a way of doing it manual here on how to resolve that issue so uh, this computer is not infected. We're just going to pretend that it is. So uh, let's uh, open up uh, a browser here. We'll just use Internet Explorer. Alright, so uh, we'll pretend here that we've just opened up Internet Explorer and um, we can't get uh, onto the internet because we're infected. Um, what you can do here is if you click on this uh, this uh, wrench icon and go into uh, Internet Options, come down here to Connections, and then go under to where it says LAN settings. And what you want to make sure is you want to make sure use a proxy server for your LAN is not checked. If this is checked, uncheck it, and then uh, make sure it's checked automatically to text settings and click OK. And then try to see if you can get back onto the internet by uh, doing it by refreshing the page and restarting the browser. All right. So um, if that doesn't get you back onto the internet, um, what you can do is you can. Uh, try to fix the Windows host file because sometimes what happens when malware infects the computer is it modifies the Windows host file so um, what you can do is you can uh, head over to uh, C and look for the folder called Windows and look for uh, a folder called um, uh, System32 and uh, then come down and look for a folder called ETC Just trying to find it here. Actually, you have to look for a folder called drivers, and then look for a folder called etc, and then you'll see in here you'll have a host file. All right, so that's C program file system32 drivers slash etc. So what you want to do is you want to right click on that you want to you want and you want to go into uh, open with and you want to open that up with Notepad all right so we'll open that up with Notepad and what you want to do is you want to erase whatever is in here in fact what you want to do is you want to uh, actually delete the host file. 
Actually, you can do it this way. Yeah, you can uh, open it. Notepad. And uh, we'll erase the host the contents in here. And uh, just bear with me for a second. want it to say is you want to say exactly that all right I just copied and paste that in so uh, the host file should actually look exactly like what we have right here so uh, if you head to the description box I'll paste a link so you can copy all that down and paste it in and then what you want to do is you want to save that and that's what your host file should look like so we open it back up with notepad and it should it should look like that all right and um, that is one of the ways of uh, fixing that up. So once you do that, you can restart your computer and see if you can get back onto the internet. And uh, if you can get onto the internet, then you can download some programs to remove the malware infection and clean up the rest of the infections that you have on the computer. So now on to some other uh, some tips on removing malware. Um, Well, uh, we'll take a look at a software here called D7. Now, it's made by a company called, uh, called uh, Foolish Tech here. I'll just pull up their website. Now they offer a, a paid version, and this program is mainly is used for IT technicians. But uh, it, it has a lot of useful s utilities in here to uh, resolve issues when it comes to uh, restrictions caused by malware. So uh, you can download the free copy or the the, pre the the paid copy. So the way you get the free copy is you head over to their website, and you go over to uh, D7 Premium Original Free. And you have to follow their instructions on here. To get it, you need to give them your your name, your email, and they'll send you a registration code and all that and explain how to get the software. All right. So uh, we'll take a look here at D7. I'm using the free version just for the demonstration of the video. So we'll take a look at this software here. So when you get D7, um, we'll come over to the uh, the maintenance uh, section here. Actually, the uh, Windows Repair section here. And what we're going to look for is we're going to go into a system. We're going to tick System File Checker. In case we have any corrupted operating system files, we're going to click Clear Proxy Server Sentence. We're going to click Repair, Reset, Windshock, Repair Windows Firewall, Repair, Reset Windows Firewall, Reset Network Interferences, Release Slash IP. Um, we're going to go down and we're going to check uh, Repair Windows Defender because that could be restricted from recent malware. We're going to uh, click on uh, whatever your issue may be. That may be restrictions in these areas of your computer caused by malware. We're going to click remove policies. And um, we're going to uh, come down to maintenance. And we'll... Uh, on t we'll check uh, delete temp files, internet files, cookies, delete all IEBHO browser helper objects, disable all IE2 bars, uh, delete temp files, we'll run a, ch a cleanup, and uh, come over to malware removal here. We'll 
repair permissions and then what we'll do is we'll click us start auto mode here all right that should do it and what that's going to do is that's going to uh, go ahead and start doing those tasks for you okay now if you can't get onto the internet you can download this program on a flash drive and if you come up to here under internet it has its own built-in web browser so that will get you onto the internet if you can't get a browser to work so uh, then you can download the programs you want so uh, we're just gonna let it try to do its repairs here so it's now working on repairing Windows Defender repairing permissions and you just have to let this run and do its thing and hopefully that will help you get guys get back your uh, computer problems caused by the malware now I'm just going to end all of this because it's just uh, this computer is fine so uh, if you enjoy my videos please remember to comment rate and subscribe and I hope that helps you get rid of some of your restrictions caused by malware